Hello guys, back again to Little Nightmares 2. We're going to be attempting to collect all the items and all the all the items and all the glitches. We don't know where all of them are, we're just finding them. And we are going to be We're going to be trying to get them. All of them. So we gotta go through the tutorial again. I don't know how long this is gonna take us or how many videos this is gonna take us. Can we hold this? Maybe not. I think it's only allowing us to jump up on it. Okay. So we gotta pull this one. Get this one open. If I don't accidentally knock into something. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at something. Yeah, I'm just looking at some stuff and that. Some stuff and junk. Yeah, I'm just looking at a few things in that, because some of these things are interesting. Also, because I'm kind of doing it, because I'm looking at where to find most of the stuff. I mean, you could definitely find all this stuff if you wanted to. Like, oh my god, I still hate that that weird pile of bodies so now that we know more lore about the game we're gonna make a lot more inferences and hopefully educational guesses if I don't fall to my death um, so the hunters out in the wild we don't know what he is or what he could be. We know he could be taxidermy, maybe part human, but his left arm definitely seemed like it was taxidermied almost. Like, like there's something more to him that we don't know about. There definitely feels like there is more to him that we just don't necessarily know about. So we push this off. We pull this across. Yeah, we were looking at a few things online because your boy ain't that smart. <laughs> your boy don't know where everything's at, so you know we're gonna collect these things. Also, we are definitely rocking this hat the entire way through. I'm sorry, I know some of you guys look different. Yeah, it definitely feels weird going back through. But this one also is like... I remember in the last video I mentioned talking about like... Easter eggs and that. We're going to do parts on this one, but we're going to make this a separate series by itself. Like, our little way of theorizing and then on top of that... Also, so that goes back up, this leads down here, oh, hello, yeah, what about, oh, I'm sorry, I blanked on that, that one's my fault, being buried, I had done them all. I normally do them. I just refold them the same way that they were. I'm sorry, it was just my mistake. I 
I wasn't thinking about it and I put it back underneath because I didn't know if you guys needed it tonight or not. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm gonna let you go. Or. Okay. No, that was not Mama Crunch, that was Auntie Crunch. Yeah, it's all good. That don't stop us. Yeah, so we're definitely, like, it, there's definitely new insight coming back through this. Like, going back through this again. So, if I'm correct, which I probably never am, it's like down underneath this area. That's where we're gonna find it. So we gotta like run, jump, and then we like Nope. We are going to off ourselves by accident. Oh yeah, we fall down here. Hold up, let's see. Okay, we go down. Okay, so instead of climbing up, we go this way. Yeah, it, I can see how it's easy to be able to lose track of where you are. And... Oh. And not figure out where things are. And this is sad. Just this lone shovel. I wonder what it references. We're definitely, we're gonna take it area by area. We're gonna be collecting hats and the glitches. Then when we're done, we're just gonna call it from there. I just wanna do this, cause one, it allows us time to theorize on different things and go back and re-look at things. Which is always interesting. Yeah, that's where they get you. It's, it's Weird traps. A lot of bear traps. Oh, so I'm gonna have to trigger it with the shoe. Okay, I completely blanked on what we were supposed to do. I am, I am so sorry about that. But I love his little hat. I think that's cool. Okay, so toss it. It's trapped in there. So that definitely is interesting that the hunter knows how to set up traps. And it keeps traps. Well, I mean, it's not surprising that he has traps. Because, you know, he's a hunter, but at the same instance, you know, I'm more surprised, not because, like, I don't know how to explain this without it sounding so, so stupid. I'm, like, for his, for, like, his condition, I'm surprised that he's able to make traps. Because he definitely does not look like he's in the condition for it. So this one's our next one. Our next glitch. Ooh, like a deer. Like a dead deer. Which will grab him. Oh, it's like a mole, actually. Yeah, so he's like the size of a mole? Crazy. Okay, so we gotta play a little bit of Thumper. Yeah, as soon as we have these, we can go on to our next part. This is like where it's gonna be trap. Yeah. It's gonna be trap after trap after trap. And then we gotta grab pine cone. Toss it. 
another pine cone. Okay, and then we're just gonna toss it across. Actually, I've always been curious because it doesn't outright tell you. There's a bear trap over here in between these ones. There's definitely a bear trap below because that's where we get that spook. And then I'm sorry, I have to I have to look at things because I'm a poopy stinky nose. Okay, so this should be around where we get inside. Or go inside. And we find her. This is already such a weird spot to find her. Like, a really weird spot to have found her. It doesn't make much for sense. But he's got, like, me and stew bits and pieces of flesh and then if I'm correct should be in here on the ground there we go that's where we collect the coon skin cap then I believe the next one is in the attic yeah, so it's weird that she's found in here. So we have no context of, like, why she was found in here. But, that is super weird and super interesting at the same time. I'm just looking at stuff real fast, real quick. Okay, I'm just checking al along for certain things. Yeah, it is weird that her, uh, her tone, like, the sound of her music is super weird. But it is cool. Yeah, so we're gonna look into the next into the next into DLCs and see about getting DLCs but as of right now I don't know yet so he's collecting like flesh skin of animals and we know for a fact oh is there something under here or something no Okay, so we know for certain that he taxidermies the people, and like, ooh, are we able to take the cleaver? Can we take the cleaver instead? Are we able to? Or is it just, oh, it's too buried. What happens if we hit this with it? You know I have to try everything. So let's try hitting that. Can you feel bad for her to have to come to this interaction? Like, we have, we have no context of where she comes from. What's going on? All she knows is that we came across her and that's about it. Yeah, we're gonna try and get the DLC, but I think it costs something. So, I think we'll do that at a different time. But, as of right now, we're just gonna leave it be. And try and finish off what we're doing. Because there's this, like, gnome DLC that you had to do. So that's super weird. So he's already in here. He's like stumbling about. So the family is poorly taxidermied. It doesn't look 
like his family because there's like no extra seats no nothing the stuff is rotting there's children it looks like an old, older person what is with this weird sausage it's found like retextured all over the place so that's super weird he has no neck He's got stuffing coming out of his eye. So that's super weird, because... Oh, and a missing arm. Maybe that's the uh, hunter's taxidermied arm. Maybe that's why it doesn't fit him. Yeah, go from not trusting you to trusting you, and then getting betrayed by you. So if we have to be able to, be able to interact with a gnome, but he has body parts in his house, like prosthetics, just like over at the uh, uh, one place. So, maybe they have some correlation? They all have something to do with, like, replacing human parts, like, human body parts. Like, prosthetics, or, like, replacing humans or something. Come on. I need you to post up so that I can... I'm, oh wait, yeah, I forgot. This is done like this. So, oddly enough, it seems like he has the same prosthetics. He's taxiderming people. She replaced all the people in, or the, all the children, in her in her area for the uh, for the porcelain children. It all has something to do with, like, getting rid of what's there and changing it to their own. Like, I wish her face would move so that you could see her face. And her arm tears off. Crazy, so we know they're not dead bodies, they're taxidermied. Sounds odd, but they're really well taxidermied too. So they must have correlation in some way. Like wanting to replace what's there already with something brand new. Or maybe... Or maybe they're already dead, they just... They're doing something with it, like taxidermy. But with the way that it seems like with the storyline, it does not seem like that, so... Yeah, with like the children, the glitches, and skin. I don't think it's like replacing people. There has to be something more to this. Like maybe the hunter is trying to replicate what the, uh, the weird doctor dude is doing. Alright, hold up. This was our next area. This was our next area. Um, yeah, the wild glitch remains in here. Okay, so this is how we get in here. Okay, so... He's like trying to grab something. Uh, 
Oh, like a picture of a deer. Yeah, if I would have known any of that stuff was interactable, I definitely would be trying to interact with more stuff. Okay, so the next one is the rain hat, which is out of here. So we can quit. The, I'm pretty sure we can quit these levels. Oh, the bear traps won't go off. Okay. So I'm pretty sure we can quit these levels as soon as we're done. I don't think it'll change the factor of us getting the hats. I hope. I hope it doesn't change anything. I still find it crazy that he has so many animal pelts. Animal skins. He's ripping them apart. Okay. So I think I know Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I won I wonder what the hell he does with us. But I think either way, yeah, if I'm correct, he gets alerted, but he already has his light set up there. He seems like he's got a mask. He's got like a prosthetic arm, so maybe he's like one of the um, prosthetic people come back and he's wearing the mat, uh, the weird mask thing, and he's doing what he's been programmed to do, and it's like skin and made to look more prosthetics, and he's trying to replicate what the doctor is doing possibly, to try and make more prosthetic creatures. And he's testing it out on like smaller animals. But that might be why he's got the one prosthetic arm. Because we don't know if he's a person. We don't see if he's a person. It might explain his lumbering movement. from the ward have like weird prosthetics but they're still alive with just their torso so maybe he has just the head maybe he has just the head Seems weird because it sounds like he can breathe. Almost like he's just got his head, maybe, or could be something else. 
but he's definitely got something going on that's causing him to be able to breathe. Because we don't know, we haven't seen the prosthetics breathe, but we've seen the prosthetics act in like a, a human s function. So I would not put it a past it being like a human a human function baby. And then I think there was something else I was gonna say. But maybe in his beforehand life, like maybe in his beforehand life he was a, a hunter. And that's why that's why he's in this scenario. Alright, so now if I'm correct, we have all the glitches. Wait, hold up. What's this? Can we grab this? What is this? Can we open it? No. Alright, so... We're gonna climb up here. And then... What I think we do is, is we drop this down. And, oh my god. Like something that I can pick up, maybe? Um, let's see. Okay, I think this is the one that we got. Okay, so I think we already have that. So I think next we have to get the school one. And I think we pretty much got what we need. So we need to get that one, which is a DLC one, but it's all right. So let's go to main menu. Yes. So main menu, and then we gotta start from the school chapter, I believe. So yeah, we got all the glitches. No. Oh, we have to play through it again. Okay, I'm gonna end this one here. That's the wild section. We are gonna just do video by video on it because it's gonna take me super long anyway. So peace. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in the next one. Please like and subscribe.